right, I'm on here. I'm on a uh, residential roof and also with a little flat roof between the garage and the house itself. And the problem here is there's a leak underneath this roof here. Now, again, this roof is a, a rubber roof, which is pretty good. But water sitting here, pooling here against the side. You can see the brown spots. This is the a sign of where the water sits, the brown color is where the water sits most of the time. Uh, I think there's enough water pooling here, probably uh, coming into a seam or... Also this is a place where people has been leaking here around this pipe. So we got to feel, feel, uh, fix that and then a seam here. Let me show you here. is to uh, lower this part of the roof. Right here, lower this, so water can drain off better. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lower the uh, this edge of the roof, water would drain off, not sit there, and then we're gonna seal also what probably is leaking and solve the problem. Just cut. I'm gonna cut through the roof. Just lift it up. Look at it. See the water? Do you see that? I'm going to remove that to make this edge lower. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, there's another roof underneath it. Another roof. <laughs> okay. There's probably three roofs here. So I'm going to have to remove this metal edging, remove maybe more roofing. Alright, let's get the tools and we'll do that. So this is the, the fiber board, like half inch fiber board that used to be there. That's disintegrated because it's wet. There's another roof underneath this that was trapping the water between this membrane here and this membrane. And so the last roofer, he installed fiber board over that Onto, to install this membrane. So every roofer has his own way to do things. All I'm doing is I'm removing this material which is really unnecessary. And uh, move this material. That gives me a half an inch of uh, lower roof here. And then I'm gonna remove this material. Let's see what's going on. Removing this material. There. Okay. Alright. We're getting to the place where it's now to the plywood. So then you see this part here. There's a gravel stump, which is the wrong type of drip edge. They installed here. This drip edge should not be here. Um, it, it, it's a half an inch, another slope up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just bend this drip edge down and I will install the membrane here. So this would be really the low part of the, the roof and the water will just easily uh, get off the roof here. Alrighty, that's it. You can see from this point there to this point, it's over an inch, but inch and a quarter. You can get also behind this. I have to cut this away so I can seal this properly. So I'm going to cut this away now, right here. Now, look at all the leaves in there. Look at all the dirt in there. How can you seal something if it's not exposed? So, yep, that's where it goes in, right there. 
I can see it. Now I clean it up. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. What did just get in there? Right there. Okay. One place. How's it looking up there? Okay, so we have proof that what we're going to do is going to work. Look at the, the overflow of the air conditioner. It's already flowing down here. And it's flowing right into this area where we're going to put the membrane now. So uh, no more water sitting here. It's going to just go down there. Very good. So we just have to put a membrane here before this, this water gets onto the plywood. Alright, so I lowered... This, um, I took all the membrane material away from the roof that was here, so I can lower it. I got about an inch, and then I lowered the lip on this metal edging. So this metal edging also caused uh, another lip that made the water on back. So I'm going to nail down the flashing here. And, uh... Oops, there goes the nail. All right. So I got the flashing nail down. Now I'm going to just cover this with membrane all the way bottom to the plywood. So we'll see how it works. Ready? Here's my glove. Put a glove on. And I put... I have a special trowel. And I'm ready. I added this membrane to the wall here so I wouldn't burn the, uh, the siding. Siding cannot take heat, so we have to protect it. So I'm protecting the siding with some membrane here. Alright, here we go. everybody my secret so be sure not to tell everybody okay don't tell everybody about the secret but here's my secret most people don't know how to attach this membrane to the metal that's why it's peeling back that's why it's always leaking all of this membrane peels back because the way they attach it they use the torch to attach it to a to the metal it doesn't work you have to use a special adhesive to attach this membrane to the metal. That's what I'm doing right now. That's a secret. That's why we're in business and why other people always make mistakes. All right, I have a special adhesive. I make it sure it's, it's sealed. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna add this membrane Right through this metal. Make sure it sticks there. Right there. Alright, here we go. Ah, my fingers open. I'm burning my fingers here. Time for the dog. Alright. Go. Another patch here.
Okay, we are at 130 degrees on the roof with a torch burning. I'm done. Another solution to another problem.